Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja and this is Fresh Tech from the Dojo, Episode 3. Now these are the fresh tech items that came into my dojo. Let's check them out. First up is the Mevo Livestream Camera. This camera is made for live streaming. It uses a 4K image and it scales down to 720p. But this allows you to zoom in and move the camera around without losing any quality. There's also a setting for it to detect faces and follow the person and dynamically change angles while doing it. Now here's a quick example of how the video looks. Okay, so here's an example of video and audio from the Mevo camera. Now I'm not controlling anything at all on the iPhone, but as I move around, what you're gonna see is the camera's gonna start to follow me. As I go left, as I go right, it follows me and sometimes it goes back. It just does different types of zooming modes and different types of zooms as you're sort of talking to the camera. You can turn this off and on, but if you keep it on, you get more of a dynamic shot, a dynamic type of video and something that looks more lifelike. As far as image quality, I'll let you be the judge of that. The unit has mounting points for a tripod, so you can just slap it on there and shoot the live video. Also, the unit has indicators letting you know battery life and also the connection. On the back, you have your micro USB, so you can keep it plugged in while streaming if you wish. It streams live to Periscope, Facebook, and allows you to save to your SD card or even your phone. Now, I think the product needs a little bit of work, giving you only around an hour of battery life, and the audio isn't super great. Also, it only works with iOS. It seems like they're working on an Android app, but I'm not sure when that would actually happen. Also, if you connect to the camera, you need to connect to the camera via Wi-Fi and then be connected to your phone via cellular. I didn't find a way to stream via Wi-Fi and that kind of sucks taking up all of your data. It's 400 bucks and it's a bit steep for many, many people. But if this is something that you need to do, I'm not sure if there's an easier way of doing this from a dedicated device. Also, something that's autonomous. I mean, this thing does follow the subject. So I really see this more for business people than just live streamers. If you wanna pick it up, you can pick it up from B&H Photo from my link down below. In a previous episode, I spoke about the Fugu XL and people really dug it. It's a speaker that I still use daily. It makes a great companion for the beach or pretty much anywhere else. But what if you don't wanna spend around $300? I got something for you. This is the Fugu Go speaker. It's a hundred bucks and this thing has some crazy features cooked in. First and foremost, the speaker has Bluetooth 4.2, so it gets you around a hundred feet of connectivity. Also has 360 mode, so when the unit is sitting on its back, it lets you fill the whole room if you place it in the center. Or if you sit it on its side, you get direct sound, so this increases the directional loudness. It's 12 watts of power, up to 92 decibels of loudness. But something else that's even more dope is that you can pair two of those speakers together for double, which is double the sound, or stereo mode. These speakers also give you the patented Fugu durability. So you get your three feet of water resistance for 30 minutes, you get your dust proof, and it can withstand some really good drops. You have two hours of battery life if you set your volume to 50%. But if you have the volume around 75%, I've got around seven hours of battery life. And that's where my testing was. Also has straps where you can attach it and you can connect it to your bike or wherever you need to put it. It's a really nice portable speaker. If you need like a small portable speaker that can withstand some drops and water and all that stuff, for hundred bucks, I don't think you can do much better. Last on the list is something I didn't think I need, but now that I have it, it's pretty dope. This is the Western Digital My Passport Wireless Pro, and it slowly became my companion when I'm out shooting. Firstly, the model I have is four terabytes, but you can get them starting at one terabyte. This gives you the ability to offload, edit, stream photos, and high definition videos in the field. You connect to it via Wi-Fi, and then it appears as a drive, or you can access it via the app. From there, you can work on files, move files, organize files, or even copy them to your machine. It has a built-in power bank at 6,400 milliamps, which can charge your phone more than two times. The Passport Wireless Pro works with Plex. As you guys know, I love Plex, and you can access all the footage from this drive into Plex or other streaming applications. It also has auto backup, so if you slide an SD card in there, automatically it starts backing up the footage to the drive, which is really, really nice. You can access all the files from anywhere using the MyCloud application. Look, this thing is the jack of all trades and I love it. It has phenomenal battery life. I use it for several days at a time and it's just really, really cool. It's something that if you shoot video out in the field, it just makes life a whole lot easier. 
You can pick this up from B&H Photo, and the link to that is down below. As always, guys, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja, and if you enjoyed Fresh Tech from the Dojo, give me a thumbs up, and also suggest what else should I bring in that's pretty fresh. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you folks later. Peace. Tell a friend or tell a friend that it's him and your real talk opinions gonna be sharper than 4K scope squad. Eat it up, sim it and saute. Ninja got reviews and brands galore. You ain't never seen a channel like this before. No hashtag crispy around this runway. Utter out your mouth that you started with gunplay.